What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So today, let's talk about that switch that is in uh, some of our trucks. You know, that little DSP5 or CSP4 or 5 switch. How it works, what does it do, why a lot of you guys are DMing me telling me, Eddie, I got this switch. It doesn't work. So, here's one way how you can tell if it works. There's a couple ways. My two ways, and first we'll start the uh, old rammer up and get in it, and I will show you on my monitoring system. Uh, if you guys don't have a monitoring system, there's one way you can tell how to also see if the switch is working. Right now, let's start it, let it warm up, and I'll show you on warm up how I can tell that the switch is working. And for you guys asking me, uh, Eddie, what's this new, uh, new, let me try this again. For you guys asking me, Eddie, what is this new uh, YouTube channel called? So, uh, I'll let you guys know, go subscribe to it. I'm not really ready yet. Um, but I think I got two, three videos on there, but go subscribe to the new YouTube, you, dude, I, I forgot to speak today, man, I'm hungry, but go subscribe to the new YouTube channel, it's called Eddie's Product Reviews, and uh, you see here, that's what I'm doing, that's why I've been so busy, and haven't put out too many videos for you guys, I've been doing this, so this uh, second YouTube channel is pretty much going to be reviewing just everything, mainly as seen on TV stuff, Products that we think, oh my goodness, that looks awesome, but is it really awesome? Uh, I'm sure some yes, some no. You'll see a review like on these disc uh, solar lights. Uh, check it out, find that out. We got more lights. We're going to do a full depth heavy review on this Jackery. And my favorite, you guys know, the Flex Seal, where you can build a boat and the guy, you can pretty much build a whole house with this stuff. So uh, we're going to try that out. You know, stuff like this, Magic Ear. All that kind of stuff. We're going to be reviewing just everything. Tons and tons of stuff on the Eddie's product review channel. And it's not just going to be stuff that's as seen on TV. It's going to be everything, guys. I mean, just from little D-Wall vacuums, Milwaukee stuff. Uh, we're going to do like Snap-on versus uh, Milwaukee and, and versus D-Walt and Harbor Freight stuff. You know, we're just going to be reviewing, reviewing, reviewing. So the stuff that you guys want to know, is it true? Is it powerful? Does it work? How long does it last? Is this stuff, you know, for reals? And you'll find that out on Eddie's product review. So go check that channel out. It'll be in the description and go subscribe to it, guys. And for you guys, I want a little update on the garage. Um, I'll go show it to you and, you know, we'll check it out, see what you guys think. And I think I found out what we're gonna do for the doors. Um, I'm going to some companies and I'm checking them out, but I'll, I'll show you right now. So this is what we've got so far. What's taking so long is the pen. What the? Look at this guy. Look at this guy. This is how he works right here. This is how he gets all the work done. <laughs> so, uh, the problem that he was having, guys, is we couldn't find enough of these panels because of this whole COVID stuff going on. A lot of people, hours keep changing. Some companies are closed or not open. So, he pretty much now finally has all the panels there and there. Um, he'll have the top and I think he's gonna do uh, the whole side today and reason why he's not going all the way down is because we have a retaining wall coming in here so when the retaining wall comes then he will go all the way down we got more dirt coming in here because you can see it's not level so when he meet, we need to make this area uh, nice and leveled out all right now let's show you guys one part of how you can tell the switch is working here So guys, that's one of the ways you can tell. You notice right there, I turned it to stage five, and that was my hiss tune. Then I turned it back to stage two. So one, two, and three for me are rumble. Four and five are hiss. Uh, Matt at Optimal Welding, that's who tuned the truck. He could change that to whatever you want. He can make one, two, three hiss, and four and five rumble. It's up to you guys. I just chose uh, you know, my one, two, three to rumble and four, five, and hiss. But that's one way you can tell where when you turn the switch, you hear the vane position on the VGT turbo uh, switching. Now the other way, we're gonna monitor and check fuel roll pressure at the time of when I'm hitting the throttle. So not when, some of you guys will be cruising and then go from one to five or two to five or whatever. You're not going to feel a difference when you're just cruising around and you flip that switch. Uh, at least I know with the Duramax and my Ram that I have, you won't feel a difference. Ford, I have no idea. But I'm pretty sure Ford's the same way because I've driven Ford, I've tuned some of them. Same thing, you can't tell a difference when 
you're cruising it. You actually have to, like on my Duramax, when you really want to confirm that switch, put it in one, stick your foot in it, and crank it to five, and it'll feel like nitrous just kicked in and it'll take off. Uh, is that good? Do you want to do that all the time? No. I would just do it just to see if the switch is working. Another way, I can tell fuel rail pressure. When we get in the truck, all right, now we're gonna let it warm up, get in the truck, and then I'm gonna show you the fuel roll pressure, um, how it, much higher it jumps. Okay, so I've got right now the switch on the stage two. Now, if you guys have one of these tuners, let me get a little closer for you guys. Um, yeah, you can use anything. Easy Link, uh, Edge, just the Edge CTS2. Uh, this is nice, so how I have it set up, is I want to see my uh, fuel rail pressure and the command fuel rail pressure. So these numbers, you want them pretty dang close to be matching up. If not, that means you got a fuel problem somewhere or injector problem. Um, you know, could be could be an issue somewhere. But what I'll show you guys, we're coming down a hill, but I'll wait until we come uh, level or up a hill. Is when I hit the gas, and I'm not even going to punch it. I'm going to just lay my foot into it a little bit. You will notice the fuel rail pressure jump really high and I'm talking you know from 25,000 psi to 29,000 psi uh, when you turn it up to the stage five okay here we go on some flat land so this is number two okay we're at pretty much 15 psi right now now I'm gonna lay my foot into it again I'm not gonna punch it but I'm gonna lay it pretty damn close to the ground and gradually get into it watch the two numbers at the bottom How it's, it will get 229 it'll just take some time and some more uh, RPM now I'm going to switch it into number five down here where's my switch okay there we go so now we have switched it into number five let me move out of the way so I'll smash this Mercedes okay so I'm gonna do the same exact thing watch those two bottom numbers You can feel the pull and you can see the smoke coming out of the back and you saw how much faster and I even didn't even stick my foot in it all the way I stuck it in less but you saw how much faster it got to that 29,000 um, psi you know much quicker than it was on stage two so these are just little things and now you guys will feel the power difference if you're not feeling the power difference at all there's something wrong for sure. You could have the switch hooked up wrong. Uh, you could not have the pins in proper. Um, there's a lot of things. Unlike the older Rams, it's pretty dang easy because it's just an OBD2. You can't really mess that up. Plug it right in the OBD2, the switches, and you're done. On uh, the 19, uh, where we have to stick it is sort of towards the back of the valve cover. There is, I want to say it's a two prong. Pop that out and you pop this in, push this in and that gives you power to the switch and gets the switch working uh, properly uh, but the main thing is guys don't be you know so for example i'm cruising right now uh we're cruising you know say 75 miles an hour now if i'm you know cruising just like this and i turn the switch nothing is gonna happen i mean i'll show you guys i will go from one watch this oh but there's two four five nothing Nothing, nothing happens at all when you're just cruising, you know, down the street. You have to lay into the throttle, get this thing under a load. You will notice also exhaust pressures. Uh, the exhaust pressure will go up also. But those are the main reasons of how to tell your switch is working. She's back in the garage now, guys. Ram ran good. Before you guys that, that ask me, Eddie, why do you keep your hood open when you're done? It, you know, just to get all the heat out. I mean, no point of trapping all the heat in there. So, sitting here in the garage, open it up, get the heat out. For you guys that also asked me where did I put my switch, because you don't see and a lot of you guys uh, don't want to drill in your trucks. I don't blame you. I wouldn't want to drill into, you know, my eighty, ninety thousand dollars $90,000 truck either. So, what I did was I stuck it right, I don't know if you guys can see that. Right there's the switch. So, here's the emergency brake. Here's a switch right there. All I did was pop this little, uh, uh, the little tab. There's a tab there, and I just used the um, screw, made it just a little bigger, uh, fed this right in there, 
and that's it stuck it there bada bing bada boom it's kind of a pain to reach it but if you don't i can still reach it but if you're not going to touch it and play with it this is a good spot because it's hidden out of the way you're not going to hit it you're not going to kick it and you don't have to drill you know any holes in your nice interior of your you know ram or uh duramax you know that's it oh and the fours forgot about the four guys so ah, the four guys yeah you can just drill right through if you want no big deal but that's all I got for you guys. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to click subscribe. Peace. Yeah.